by six. Saren levels up. By five. Yazen levels up. By six. Alright. I find a chest. Agility seed. Small. Okay, so they don't always give seed boosters. Never mind. They give actual seeds sometimes. Now I have snowball. Which means I now have to work in cold span to get chill, which will inflict damage over time on all enemies. It's pretty much a multiple target version of, uh version of, um, whatchamacallit, shiver. Guess I'll use the seed booster as well. Okay, I have item one and agility one. I wonder if I get more than one of the same, will it, uh, if I get like another agility one, I wonder if it would, uh, be agility 2 if I used it, or if it'd be another agility 1. Alright! Apparently pirates can be <laughs> recruited into your team. That's just weird. Uh. This should be the last battle, and then I'll have another level up. Level up! By seven, by six. By five. By six. The chest. Fisherman's bow. Jeweler approaches me. Uh, sure, I don't have one of you, so I guess I'll take you. Into the cold spin we go. Kinda wish this I had. I wish I kinda had chill for the next part I'm getting into, but I won't have that. I forgot to use that earlier. Ooh, that's some nice attack. Okay, we're back here. With two level ups under our belt, we should be able to kill Bloodbeer without much problem at this point. At least I hope so. Saren, why are you always becoming confused? It always seems like I think he cast Clear the first turn last time too. Maybe he always does that for the first turn. Ooh, I actually poisoned him. If Saren can inflict bleed, that'd be great. Ooh! Oh, it didn't inflict bleed though. That's too bad. Ah, there's the rum raft. I was wondering when that would show up. Yeah, almost 40 damage from that. That's pretty good. That oh, Sirwin's down. That means I have to take over his main healer. I wasn't watching his health, or I would have renewed him. I think me and Izzy could probably take this on our s- I don't know. As long as neither of us becomes confused. Hmm? 
Yeah, I figured Sh Shiver was gonna fade off this turn. It had been on for a while. Yeah, go ahead and charge him. See how much damage that does. Oops, didn't mean that. Ethan has over 130 health, that's pretty good. Although he does have that health uh, percentage increase. Whoops. That's pretty good damage. And I can hit double digits now. Alright, we've been given a magic key, which will let us unlock some of the doors. Like these golden doors, these are what the magic key will unlock. And let's see what's up in this chest here. 
250 gold. All right, that'll come in handy. Let's go ahead and use the inn, and then after that. We just have to, um, head to NR, I believe, is the next area. And there is a way to get there, unfortunately. Uh, it's the, it's basically a cave to NR. Nothing in particular. I don't think I, yeah, I can't use that. It's kind of annoying that there's no defensive items that they can sell you on at this place. We're gonna need all those magic herbs. I'm probably gonna work towards a level up in this cave. Just one more before I head into NR. It's this cave is pretty much the point that I pretty much think the game becomes difficult. And we're gonna see why in a little bit. I'd try and run from this, but I know I'd never make it out. It never lets me when I really want to get out of there. Ooh, that was a nice hit. Nice 40 hit there. This isn't taking very long though, so it's fine. As you can see, the enemies in the area though, even though we've cleared out this area, are still pretty dangerous. They could still do some pretty decent damage. Hopefully that'll be the last battle until we reach this area up here. I like to call this area, uh, the Cave to Hell. Just because the enemies are very, uh, difficult to mess with. They have healers, they have status effects, they have tanks. Yeah, this is the kind of crap that I'm looking at here. You've got an eyeball that can heal. <clears throat> a stone face that can do magic and can do and can stand up to quite a bit of damage. You got skeletons that could probably do quite a bit of damage, or risen pirates as they're called here. And I'm sure that blue sludge can probably, or muck in this case, can probably poison you. Fortunately, we just killed it, so. Yeah, an eye beam's pretty dangerous too, which is why you want to get rid of the eyes pretty quickly. Pretty much if you want to live here, you want to use Renew or Renew more the moment you enter the battle. And pretty much the worst case scenario is getting a battle that has a bunch of those eyesores in it. And that stone face is kind of the tank that I was talking about, because physical damage is not going to do much to it at all. <laughs> eh, deflate might have not been that bad of a attack to use this time. This century, I think, only has a limited amount of MP to use Jolt over and over again.
Alright, everything's defeated. Unfortunately, I don't remember the way through this cave. So we're pretty much going to wander around until we get out of it. Or until I grind to next level up. Which could be 19... 1900 experience. But as you could... If you didn't notice there, you actually gain probably about 100 experience every battle in this, uh... This place. Sometimes it's a little less, sometimes it's a little more, depending on what enemies you randomly encounter. Let's go ahead and go up here and see what's going on. This is pretty much the same exact setup as last time. Pretty much I would get rid of the Muck or the Eyesore first. Although the Eyesore is a bit tricky because it has heal and can heal itself or its other people. Although, one trick I say to do if, if you have a lot of Eyesores in a battle, like three or more, um, I'd say to use uh, damage one very close to death and just watch the Eyesores uh, spam heal all over that single one for like two turns, which gives you quite a bit of time to uh, start killing them off. Unfortunately, I'm dead here, so I'm hoping my uh, other two companions can finish this off by themselves. That'd be very great. Hey, the muck is defeated. Sentry can't be poisoned, I'll have to remember that. Apparently bones can be poisoned, but stone cannot. This might take like a minute because they can only do physical attacks. And unfortunately, I'm dead, so I can't do any magic attacks for them. I believe there's still one or two enemies that we have not seen yet. Risen Pirate. Sure, why not? There's actually a quest you can do in here. If you talk to the, uh... If you talk to Bloodbeard after I think he gives the magic key. But I don't want to do that quest right now. I'll probably come back later on and do it. I don't really recommend doing it unless you're in a group that really knows what they're doing because it's quite a lot of battles. I don't think this is too bad. It's all a bunch of risen pirates that can attack pretty well, but they pretty much don't have a lot of HP. They only have about 60. This won't take much longer. Alright.
Only 96 experience for that. So Risen Pirates do not give you... Yeah, don't need to go that way. That's a, sh that's a dead end. Risen Pirates are less experience here than the other ones. If I had to guess, Eyes, Oars, or Sentries probably give you the most experience. This is kind of the reason that I really wish I had Magic Herb B. Oh, this is a crappy setup. Yeah, if they all start spamming I beam, we're gonna have problems. And Izzin is not very good at magic, which all these three pretty much use. He might heal the next turn. Yeah, that's what I figured. The eye of other eyes are probably gonna try and heal him as well. Yeah. So at least we don't have to worry about them this turn. Ooh, nice poison. Uh, it used Eye Beam instead of healing itself. Oh, they both use it. Crap. I'm almost dead. Uh, it's everyone's down too. So it's all up to me this time. I'm gonna have to use heal more. Or else I'm not gonna have enough of the uh, uh, healing intake to save me for the next turn. Oh, that's good. Hopefully the next one will die too. Perfect. Okay, I can go against two sentries. Like, I'd have problems with the Eyesaurs though, probably. If they started healing them. I don't exactly need to use re more, Renew More now, so... Shoot, I don't have enough MP. Crap. I need to use Renew More, because I'm not going to survive another turn without it. Maybe I will. Okay. There's only one that I could probably go without needing to use it. And I'm out of MP too, so hopefully this shiver is going to be enough. Probably going to die next turn, I think. I dodged it, but I probably would have only done one health anyways. As you can see, you can get really screwed up here. It's pretty much just up to the randomizer of the enemies if you're gonna get royally screwed or if you're gonna have an easy time with them. I almost have to go back to town already. I have to renew up everybody. And I'm probably only like halfway through this cave. At the most, I'm at halfway through this cave. It's a pretty big cave, if I remember correctly. And I'm lost in here. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> 